Yo, yo, yo. Hi, my name is Download. I'm a music producer, a mix and a mastering engineer. Welcome to my first YouTube tutorial. Today, we're going to be talking about channel latency in Cubase 10.5. Yeah, as you can hear, this vocal is right on time with the beat. But I'm going to show you while adding plugins, sometimes your vocal goes out of time. And then you try to try to manually shift it from here. Now let me zoom this in. You would want to just maybe shift it like this. But sometimes it messes up everything. I'm going to show you the best way to go about this. So let's go. If you're using Windows, you can just hit your F3 and brings up the mix console. But um, if you're using Mac, I don't know the shortcut key, but you can come to Studio and then you click on your mix console. We're here. The first thing you want to do here is um, if you check here, I have my channel latency showing up here. So the whole of this plugin are adding a little amount of latency. And then when you sum all of it, and this is the value 30.6 milliseconds. So if you can't see this on your mix console in Cubase 10.5, you can come here and then you click here and then you select channel latency going on and off here. So uh, you want to turn it on, close, and then let's still play the song again. Yeah, so as you can hear, the song is on time once again. Um, but let me add a plugin that will add a lot of latency to that vocal. And I think one of those plugins are uh, um, Isotope, um, the breath. I think. Hope I got the name correctly. So let's type in that breath control. Yeah, RX8 breath control. So if I add that up, you can see our value here is 30.6 milliseconds. As soon as I add this um, plugin in, that value will just skyrocket. Yeah, you can see. 634.3 milliseconds. That's our new value. So, <clears throat> if I play this song. Fanny shoes, yeah. Gucci bags, and diamond neck. Yeah. Immediately I hit that, you can just hear the vocal going out of time. So, how do we fix this? You copy this value, 634.3 milliseconds. You copy the value and then you come here. And now here, before we go to that section, if you notice this part of um, where these plugins are all added in, um, this is my like my lead group. This is, this is a group channel. So I'm processing all my lead from this group. Um, make sure you copy this value or you write it down somewhere. 634.3 milliseconds. You want to write it down somewhere. Yeah, you want to come to each of the channel, and as you can see, sometimes when you come here, it's um the drop down is not there. But um, once you come to the channel, you can just click here and then drops down. You'd want to put that value here. 63 634.3 milliseconds. Yeah, 634.3 milliseconds. Now you don't just type in the that value 3634.3 milliseconds. You want to add a minus to that value. So it's going to look like this. Minus 634.3 milliseconds. That's what you want to do. You want to add a minus sign to it. So um let's have a listen. So you can hear, um, our the breath is still here, and then we minus this value, all of this value, on this channel, and then our vocal is on time. So you want to do all of this. You want to add this value to all of your lead channel. You can see it's showing me lead here. Um, you want to do this? Control P, paste that value. Um, you want to copy Ctrl-P on Windows uh -huh. and then you want to just paste it on all your lead 
channel. Now note, you don't paste that value on your backup if your backups are not in the lead folder. If you do like a separate processing on your backup, let's say for example, um, let's say this channel is your backup channel. You can see it's latency, 1.5 milliseconds. Well, um, um, you can let this slide. This won't affect anything on, on, your, on your backup. If this is your backup channel and then this is your latency, this value won't really, you won't really notice any delay. But if you just want to be 100% perfect, you want to just type this value to your backup channel. You don't put this on your lead. You, you add it to your backup channel. Please. Uh -huh. so let's come back here and um, we take out this value. If we return it back to zero, we'll have that delay. Fanny shoes, Gucci bag. Fanny shoes, Gucci bags and diamond neck. Fanny shoes, Gucci bags. Fanny shoes, Gucci bags and diamond neck. So, that is how to solve your latency problem on Cubis 10.5 when you've added a plugin. Um, one other thing is um. You have this value here, and then let's say you do some other processing on the channel and before sending it to a group, like for example, let's say I have this lead two channel here, and then I add a plugin, let's say, um, let, let me think of a plugin that I'll add latency to this. Okay, let me do AutoTune Pro. Yeah, AutoTune Pro. Fine. Now you can see here that AutoTune Pro is adding um, 60.3 milliseconds delay to that channel. And if this channel happens to be on the lead, to be in the lead group, this is what you would do. This is lead two. And then on lead two, we have AutoTune here. You'd want to add this 60.3 millisecond to this and then add it back to this channel. So let's quickly do that. Um, let me do this. You want to do six, three, six, three, four, point three, four. Six, three. Now notice if you're copying this value. We're only adding that value to this channel because we added this latency to this. So every other channel is going to carry 63, 4.3 milliseconds, except there's an extra latency on that channel. Then you sum up the latency on that channel with this, then you add it back to that channel. So what we're doing for this lead two, we are adding 60.3 to 63, to 634.3 milliseconds. We're summing that up together and then we're adding it to this channel. So we're going to be doing minus this 694 for this channel. But this already has a latency, as AutoTune has already added um, some amount of latency channel before going to the group. So in that same group, um, um, the latency, the latency here is also affecting this. So you want to sum this and this to give you, to give you this value. Yeah. Yeah. So as you can see, other channels are not having the same value because they don't have auto on, on each of the channels. So that's that. So if you have any question, you can leave that in the comment section. I will reply to you. That is how to solve your latency problem on Cubis 10.5 when you've added a plugin. You know the culture on YouTube? <laughs> Hit the subscribe button, turn on the notification bell, like, comment, and see you on the next video. Sí.